Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The AR Core Augmented Reality Developer Platform announced that the Augmented Faces API is available on iOS as well as Android, allowing developers to attach fun effects to faces on both platforms. Also, improvements have been made to the Cloud Anchors API to make hosting and resolving anchors on the device-created 3D feature map more efficient and robust. And we're taking steps in the future to expand the scale and timeline of shared AR experiences with persistent cloud anchors. Find out more on the post. Chrome 77 is rolling out now, offering a better way to track the performance of your site with largest contentful paint, along with new capabilities for forms, support for native lazy loading, and more. Check it out on the developer site. We announced the stable release of the Dart 2.5 SDK, which includes technical previews of two major developer features, ML Complete, code completion powered by machine learning, and the Dart colon FFI foreign function interface for calling C code directly from Dart. Dart 2.5 also has improved support for constant expressions. Read all about it on the post. We announced new capabilities for the Anthos Cloud Services platform. Anthos Service Mesh connects, manages, and secures microservices, while Cloud Run for Anthos enables you to easily run stateless workloads on a fully managed Anthos environment. In addition, Anthos Config Management now includes capabilities to help your teams automate and enforce org-specific policies, while binary authorization helps to ensure that only validated, verified images are integrated into your managed build and release process. Check out more on the post. Cloud TPUs now provide a spatial partitioning capability that allows you to seamlessly scale your model by leveraging 2, 4, 8, or even 16 cores for training ML models that wouldn't otherwise fit into the memory on a single TPU core. Our XLA compiler automatically handles the necessary communications among all cores, so no code changes are required. Read more about it on the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Let's go. I'm going to take. All right. Got it. Got it. All right. There we go. Got to keep the energy up.